Now, WGEM Sports with Sports Director Tony Cornish Jr. Well, the Quincy High coaching staff, well, they have the ladies in the Blue Devils camp really ready to go this evening on the Western Big Six Hardwood. Big game on and blue and white hosting the Silver Streaks from Galesburg right here in the Gem City. Blue Devil Nation on hand in big numbers this evening for this Western Big Six showdown. Let's go to first quarter action. Check in on Olivia Edwards with the ball and finds Emily Wilson wide open under the basket for two of her 15 points. QHS getting it done on both ends tonight. Lacey Novosel gets the steal. She passes ahead to Kate Chevalier who finds Edwards and Olivia pulls the trigger and uh, yeah, she nails the tray. Edwards finished with 11 points this evening. Let's go to the second quarter now. Bryn Holtz is surrounded under the basket and kicks it out to Chevalier who nails the wide open tray with ease from the corner. Nice shot. QHS up double digits against GHS at that point. Your final after four when it's all said and done. Quincy High winning at home 58 to 36 against the Silver Streaks in Hamilton this evening. Senior night for Wes Hancock. Yeah, Lady Titans uh, in action hosting Macomb this evening. One of the seniors will get the scoring started early. Titans get out in transition and Maya Gray takes it all the way to the hoop and nails the deuce with ease. Titans go up to zip a couple minutes later. Titans up 11 6. Macomb Savannah Kump finds Gray Stuffelbeam behind the arc and Stuffelbeam uh, is money. Titans lead reduced to two off that shot. Early second quarter now 19 to 16 Titans. Bailey Barber escapes the double team and gets it to Mallory Ross at the top of the key and Ross rattles home the trifecta. Three of her career high 35 points on the night. Your final after four Wes Hancock winning at home against MHS 78 to 44. Your final. Let's move on now to Carthage. Lady Chargers of Illini West hosting the Lady Cyclones from West Prairie. Three minutes in, Lady Chargers leading six zip. Carly Artman sinks the corner three here. Nothing but twine. And Illini West is up by nine. Did you see what I did there? Just a moment later, it's now 11 to three. Lady Chargers Artman gets it on the wing and uh, she lets it fly again. All those threes tonight. Lady Illini West is up by, by 11. Your final seconds of the first half. Watch Lady Chargers up by 22. Katie Kirkham slices into the lane and gets it poked away. Rattles the rock home and CK beats the buzzer. Nice shot. Lady Chargers close out the quarter on an 18 zip run and they cruise to a 74 to 20 victory this evening. Carly Hartman, by the way, finished with 27 points for the Lady Chargers of Illini West. In Augusta this evening, the Sons of Southeastern losing against Western 51 to 37 in a key Central Conference South Division matchup. Marion County falling to defeat against Wellsville Middleton 58 to 17. Drake Hamill had a big night, pumped in 32 as West Hancock rolled past the Mustangs of Unity 69 to 41 at the Bowling Green Tournament this evening. Winfield beats BG 55 to 51 and the Bulldogs of Louisiana get by Ellsbury 42 to 9 on the ladies hardwood. Marion County falls 46 to 41 against Wellsville Middleton. Lady Tigers of Scotland County beat Marceline 61 to 27. Paige Knuffman, she joined the 1000 point club tonight. Congratulations. Lady Eagles of Liberty beating Western 71 to 38. Kenzie Wagner, by the way, had 20 points, and uh, she also hit six three-pointers in this contest as well. In Southeast Iowa, meanwhile, the Lady Hounds of Fort Madison falling to defeat against Fairfield in a heartbreaker, 47 to 46. On the boys' hardware, the Crusaders of Holy Trinity Catholic falling against second-ranked Waco, 64 to 34 is your final in that one. Meanwhile, in the GLVC tonight, the 10 and 8 Hawks of Quincy University returned home finally to Pepsi Arena to tip off against the 8 and 10 William Jewell squad tonight. The Cardinals were in town. Yeah, the Hawks were trying to find the right winning formula, could, you could say, after dropping their last three games in a row. The Hawks of QU came out with a very clear focus this evening. Let's check in on first quarter action. QU's Aziz Fadika finds Charles Collier in the corner. Collier takes it inside for the step back floater. Hawks down by one after that hoop. Collier finished with eight points. Still in the first quarter, Tanner Stuckman backs up the defender for the jumper, but misses. Victor Kovacevic grabs the rebound and puts it back up for two. QU down by eight. Victor had 14 points. Second quarter, bang, bang, passing by the Hawks as they find Tanner Stuckman in the corner for the deuce. Stuckman ties it up for QU at 25. Tanner, by the way, finished with 24 points and 11 rebounds tonight. Your final in this one after it's all said and done after 40 minutes of action. QU winning 76 to 65 over William Jewell. Lady Hawks of QU also were in action. Let's check out those highlights as well as they were taking on the Cardinal tonight. First quarter action. Alexandra Petrovic drives to the bucket here and puts the 
Pretty ball fake on and gets the layup to roll in. QU down four early, still in the first quarter. Ella Goldball finds Alexa Lowe cutting to the basket. Lowe gets the roll for two of her seven on the night. QU trying to keep it close. Laney Lance drives, gets the pass by two uh, defenders to an open Ella Goldball there under the basket for two. But when it's all said and done and the dust clears in this one, a tough night for the Lady Hawks of QU as they lose at home 65 to 54. They are now 6 and 13 overall the season. QU has now lost four games in a row. Hawks are 2 and 9 right now on the GLBC. Quincy University, believe it or not, commits 27 turnovers in this contest. Laney Lance finished with 16 to lead QU. Meanwhile, the Ladies College Hardware checking in on action. Hannibal LaGrange falls on the road 84 to 45 against Central Baptist on the Ladies Hardwood in McColl. Meanwhile, Western Illinois fell to defeat against South Dakota State 89 to 48. Elizabeth Lutz led the 11-11 Leathernecks with 12 points tonight. The Necks are now 5 and 4 in the Summit League. Western will host North Dakota State Saturday afternoon at 4.30 at Western Hall in Macomb. The Lady Wildcats of Culver roll past Graceland this evening. 103 to 82 is your final in that one. Ryan Dooley pumped in a career high 29 points. Jada Summers, the outstanding freshman from Monroe City, had 10 points, three rebounds, and had one steal in 19 minutes of action off the bench for Culver. On the men's side, Culver Falls at Charles Fieldhouse. 77 to 66 against Graceland. Mason Byers finished with 17 points for the Wildcats at Western. Meanwhile, the men's team falling to defeat at home against NDSU. 70 to 49 is your final on that one. The next are now 5 and 14 on the season. The Trojans of Hannibal Grange, meanwhile, falling against 21st ranked Central Baptist as well this evening. 78 to 62 is your final in that one. Meanwhile, Quincy Notre Dame head boys basketball coach Kevin Meyer will join Ryan and Brock on WGEM Sports Center tomorrow morning. Also, the youth sports spotlight will be on the menu of delights as well. You don't want to miss that. The fun starts at 7 a.m. on WGEM Sports Radio. That's ESPN 1440 98. Point nine. Finally, in prep wrestling news and notes, Quincy Notre Dame losing against Beardstown tonight, 51 to 30. Hannibal also fell to defeat against Centralia, 57 to 18. That's a wrap for sports. We'll be back after this.